um, I'm very thankful because uh, I got so many comments and like likes and so many suggestions I got from past video so I thought of like I got some questions through mail regarding my uh, course now I'm doing masters in mechatronics and cyber physical systems um, in Technische Hochschule Degen of uh, DIT so as far I uh, understand that so many people don't know like where campus is located and how many branches are there then how to apply for course how to select the course which course is related to me which course is not related to me like there are many courses in DIT uh, as I can say uh, bachelor's masters in that many courses like electrical mechanical machine and bow um, tourism media technique um, and so on but as I know like in masters there are three main courses one is mechatronics and cyber physical system it is English that program and another one is uh, electrical engineering and information technology um, and this um, one CSC program is there like it's related um, IT program is there uh, I don't know much about that but I know these both courses and as well as uh, one more course is there which I know Machine and Bow that is uh, German art program I want to give brief clarification about the all courses master co master and bachelor courses here um, I will show you each and every step how to search uh, courses faculties um, course content requirements how can you uh, uh, apply for this is this like is this university under uni assist or else you can directly um, apply for this so there are many questions I got so I will give one by one as I know like I know little I want to share that with you people maybe that is useful for you because it's a uh, admission time uh, so I thought it's uh, important to know about the university DIT so I'll show you in the uh, my computer I'll just uh, go with one by one you can see and you can know um, instead of asking others how can I apply what is the requirements what can I do how much um, German I, I need to know before coming here uh, and so on you can all clarify with yourself uh, like by going with the university website even I also didn't know before coming here uh, I also had many questions I used to ask everyone instead of that uh, if we go through the university site like um, then you can know many things obviously and there are many mm, questions but I just want to clarify two questions today one is um, mechatronics uh, entrance exam test because uh, this time only they have uh, implemented for mechatronic students before it was there for uh, WAT uh, nothing but electrical engineering and information technologies mm. I know about the test paper but uh, really I don't know about the mechatronics uh, entrance test because as I told you uh, this is the first time they are conducting let's see like uh, I can share information what I know uh, right now thank you so just uh, we'll go through the our uh, un university website when we search 
PhD taken off, so it's uh, have such so many times, so it is in the front. So I'm clicking here. If you want to, uh, the page should be in English. You can translate. Otherwise, you can go with the German. Okay, I'm translating. So home THD. See, we got uh, this page. Technisha Hochschila Degenhoff. And uh, here also you can change whether if you want in English or if you want in German. And when we come to here, there are many options. What is here? College. Under college updates, college updates, events, contact whom you want to contact. You can contact locations, working on the THD, whatever you want. You can uh, just uh, go to down and you can find. And here, candidates option. In that also, here you can see application. How, uh, like, you can start application here. In students. And students, the main information for students who are in studying in in the university DIT, they can find faculties and library. You can take books, and you, you have a library account. You can um, log in here, and more options like whatever you want, you can find here. Uh, whoever wants regarding research oriented then they can search here training bachelor programs master programs university certificates projects they will upload project available projects if you want you can join you can mail them and you can contact uh, for regarding these projects company uh, job search uh, career service uh, whatever Jobs are uh, available surrounding you. They will update. Career newsletter will be there. If or else, if you want some personally, like uh, if you want to meet them personally, you can have a term in. And if you want a CV check or else uh, some information about um, job and further questions related to jobs, they will solve. Like they will help you. When we go down, first of all, we can see this study and research or THD. You can study and you can do research also. And like, don't think that these are like colorful dots. Like, we never care about this, but uh, there is a uh, something inside the dots. You can see. I'll show you. Like, if you want, if you click on this green dot. Uh, I'll just change to English because maybe some people cannot understand. See, when when I click to the just I when I put cursor on the green dot, I can see civil and construction engineering. Whoever wants to know about civil and construction engineering, they can click here and they go to the civil and construction engineering information. Like whichever information you want, you can just know from that like you need not to go or down check what these that the, then you will you won't understand you can directly go with uh, this green dot and what next applied economics and here hello is electrical engineering and media technology whoever wants electrical engineering information they can directly go through this hello mm, the blue uh like mechanical engineering and mechatronics which is related to me and violet says applied natural sciences and industrial engineering applied healthcare science computer science computer students can click here go directly to the computer page and here european campus uh rotel in uh i just want to confirm you people uh like DIT is not only one campus. There are three campus. Like one main university located in Degenhof. That is uh, Technische Hochschule Degenhof. It's a big university. Uh, as I showed you in the, my past uh, video, um, there are two more campus. Uh, European campus is big. 
many uh, classrooms are there labs are there i never visited but uh, as i as far i know it's a big campus also european campus it's a sub sub campus and there is another campus even uh, like which is important to us i will tell you why it is important um that is calm campus um like uh, some uh, whoever want to come for mechatronics and whoever want to take mechatronics and cyber physical system for you people it is very important when you take winter intake then you will come to the main campus like um, when you uh, come for summer intake then you need to go for calm campus uh, both subjects are same but faculties might be differ and some course uh, in course also might be differ little uh, because we were the first batch uh, in main campus um, i came in winter last winter so i came to the main campus like i know that uh, when i ask uh, calm campus students a uh, little difference between for them and us so it's important to know which campus you want to come i mean which you which campus you want to come then you can take you can change the application process like winter and summer if you take uh, if you are coming for summer intake means you uh, you need to go for come campus it is also nice both are same the like there are labs there are good infrastructure here also same um i didn't visited come so i am just telling like there are three campus like three branches for dit you need to know about that so let's see again we'll go down here is our president giving christmas inf- like wishes and some uh, like information about corona mm-hmm. you can see here information about winter semester like current semester 2021 and uh, events which are takes place in this year um, concerning corona virus uh, because it's europe corona is increasing day by day so we need to take care about that apply now here you can apply for uh, like a master course bachelor course whatever you want internship a uh, projects anything mm-hmm. it's about a job location bachelors and masters directly you can also click here so and so on field of research so as i showed you we can directly go with this color notations where we are blue is for mechanical engineering and mechatronics so we will go faculty mechanical engineering and mechatronics current information concerning the winter time winter semester here first comes bachelor in bachelor's mechanical engineering and mechatronics engineering technical design these three courses are available for bachelors in mechanical engineering when comes to the master mechanical engineering mechatronics and cyber physical systems ending and off so mechanical engineering nothing but your machine and bow it is a german course and it is an english course so what is there in down the faculty at a glance faculty you want you want to know you can check labs praxis there um, positions and info contacts if you want con- to contact anyone you can contact here you can get contacts functions and positions and links he mm, transfers in practice okay just we will go 
through the mecha mechatronics and cyber physical systems in Deganov. The desire to discover new things. See, now we are at the page mechatronics and cyber physical system, master engineering. Why study at DIT? Uh, I want to tell you one thing. You can find everything in this site when you go through step by step like one by one you can get to know every information you need not to worry what to do what to do how to do when to do nothing every date and every um, like deadlines and required information and links um, like everything you can find here Uh, mainly whoever wants to know like um, um, as I am electrical engineering I took mechatronics um, some people think that I am electrical engineering whether I can take this course or not um, I am mechanical engineering whether I take this course I am suitable for this or not so first check the course content what is inside like whether it is related or uh, related when you check the course content you get to know what is in inside what you are going to study after coming here so first of all check course content that's why it is in front page you directly went to the subject to overview when it comes to the masters mechatronics and cyber physical systems it is three semesters course 90 ECTS so there are, as I told you three semester course um almost 12 subjects so you can check everything first semester uh, it's related to computer uh, oriented subjects and uh, business oriented subjects uh, you get to know mechanical subjects like as uh, autonomous systems and robotics um, related case studies case studies nothing but a, a lab kind of things um, in India, we use it to say case study, like labs here, we they say case study. India, they call labs. <laughs> in Germany, they call like case studies and sometimes labs also. So, these are the subjects for first semester. Structure and functional cyber physical system, business models. Um, Advanced robotics, you learn about robotics in business models. You learn about uh, in business models, you learn about business model, business models, how like uh, companies, how they are using CBS uh, to grow business, like that kind of thing. And in advanced robotics, you will learn about robotics uh, basics too, like um, high range. Total robotics will come, kinematic, like forward, forward, backward, and DH parameters, and so on. A case study cooperative and autonomous system also, like you need to uh, take one topic, uh, you need to do whole project. Like what, whichever the project you want to do, um, you can take. Uh, sometimes it would be for single person, individually you need to do. Sometimes uh, you should be like you should do with a group people, group of people, maybe three or four or five. It depends upon the professor how he desires. So advanced modeling and simulation. In this, uh, you will study um, mathematics, um, command of mathematics, MATLAB. Uh, and some electrical systems, mechanical engineering related subject. So it's total combination of three subjects. Mm -hmm. When it comes to second semester, virtual and augmented reality. The, uh, when it comes to the first semester, you just uh, learn some part of a bachelor topics and some parts related to the second semester of masters uh, when it comes to the second semester you will learn mostly related to the like 
masters like main content in the second semester and future subjects uh, as here virtual reality and augmented reality now it is implementing and like it is a very good subject and futuristic subject and mobile and adaptive hmi also it's more important case study vr ar like uh, it's related to virtual reality and augmented reality if when it comes to the case study means you need to do some project uh, technologies of additive manufacturing and am production process uh, like these two are combinedly uh, they will make one subject in additive manufacturing uh, nothing but your 3d printing uh, so you will mostly learn about uh, like what is additive manufacturing how many types of there what is the pre requirements for additive manufacturing how you will do you will know we will get to know everything this is also like you have scope for uh, this subject future is like 3d printing you can see like how it is growing now 3d printing additive manufacturing like um, case study cyber physical production system using am like uh, here it is case studies vr ar in system engineering you use vr ar in this uh, case study and when comes to the case study cyber physical production system using am means in this case study you need to use am additive manufacturing with that uh, additive manufacturing you need to do one project mm, technical compulsory elective subject it is nothing but i'll explain when you if you have c1 german c1 um, so you need not to take any elective subject when you don't have uh, c1 so you need compulsory you need to take one elective uh, which should give uh, two ects and more uh, but uh, with this combination of career service in that career service they will uh, like they will explain about um, germany culture in germany job search and rules and regulations in germany um, taxes and everything whatever you required you need to know about germany so they will explain everything that is for two ects and another elective for two ects uh, one more thing i want to let you know you people german is important really i am telling um like try to have uh, a2 in india like wherever whichever like country no problem try to have a2 and then come it's very like good uh, and there is a deadline for mechatronics and cyber physical systems uh, you need to complete a2 uh, by the end of uh, second semester otherwise like they will cancel your admission so be careful if it is possible if you have time then you start german from now onwards it's better and when comes to the third semester so there will be only one uh, subject functional safety and design of system functional safety is very important like whatever the device or whatever the company whatever whatever it be but functional safety is more important nowadays so it is also very good subject only one subject you will have hmm. then after master thesis and seminar the like more more credits goes to the master thesis master thesis nothing but a like mtech project we call like project one project hmm. so these are the uh, subjects and like subject overview for the masters uh, in mcy like mechatronics and cyber physical system like this is the overview for mechatronics and cyber physical systems so when we come to up is a course content so before going apply we will 
I want to show you something. Like, what is this? Like, oh, you were uh, you shape the future. What like what they want to tell you here? Qualification objectives. When you come to the qualification objective, they will explain you. I'll make it bigger for this course. See how important it is. Course objective. What course uh, will give when you study Masters Mechatronics? What you will get to know. So you need to know about course objective especially. Learn outcomes of the course. Like after studying that, uh, what you will understand, what outcome you will get from the course. Study and qualification objectives. What are the qualification you required for this course? Learning outcomes of the modules, module objectives, target metrics. Like uh, as I know, as I tell you, uh, these uh, like with the module, whatever you module you have uh, in your course, like nothing but the subjects. With that, what you will get? They want to explain you. If you have time, if you want to come here. If like if you want to know really what is inside, so it is only eight eight papers only, so you can study. You will get to know a lot of information from this. I recommend you to check this before coming here. You will you will get clarify with uh, here itself. You need not to worry what is inside. When it comes to the module handbook. Module handbooks where mechatronics and cyber physical system. So, this is the module uh, guide mechatronics and cyber physical system. Download it. You can check who is teaching, like how many semesters it is, how many ETS, ECTS it will give, how much duration for exam, self study. Everything clearly they mentioned. You go like it's 50 papers. It is not about papers. You can just get to know what you will study in this course. Everything, each and everything you will get to know. Who is teaching this subject? How many, uh, like how many months, when it will start, when it will end, how many ECTS you will gain with this subject. Uh, whether it is important or not, you can judge yourself. Even type of examination also they have mentioned. So it is like a content book. So you will know everything if you study this. And one more thing in this module and handbook, whichever the course it is, it is for applied computer science, applied research engineering science, automotive electronics in cooperative with uh, Regensburg University. Like here you can get all modules, uh, course module you can see here and you can get it and uh, it is very important to know by the way. Like if you are electrical student, you are searching for mechatronics, it is not suitable to you. Then if you want to switch, switch some other course or else if you want to apply more, um, like if you want to apply uh, for more courses, and which is suitable to you then you, when you see the course module you will get to know which is suitable to you you can apply one uh, one or more uh, applications because it is not through a uni assistant so uni assist it is not through uni assist so uh, you need not to pay money it is direct university you can apply like you can apply for many courses more, I mean more than one. You can apply for me mechatronics. You can apply for WIT. If you have German C1, you can apply for machine and bow. Um, in fact, if you, you can apply for computer science. If it is related to you, if you are interested to, when you go through it, then only you can get to know. So course module is important. Then what else? Study and examination, exam regulations. Study and exam regulations. Where is our mechatronics? Here, here it is. So, like it is 
old one old copy this is the amendment you can check like how it is what they mention in this english language skills at b2 level according to the common european framework of reference so like what is the eligibility you mean like uh, that mean uh, how like how much IELTS score is required? Like how much GRE? I don't know. Like you can which like which one you are taking IELTS, TOEFL, and so on. But here the main motto is you need you must and should uh, know uh, you must and should have skills in English until B two like intermediate level. It is so. Um, IL 6.5 is better to have I can recommend but the requirement is 5.5 uh, German skills if you want to enter in English course also you need to have A2 better to complete in India and come otherwise you can learn with um, like course itself you can register course and like and German course both you can study together so that is what that's what they want to tell like IELTS how much you want Germany how much you want to have like so we finished here we finished here fact sheet mechatronic and cyber physical system degree Master of Engineering, three semesters, eighteen months course. October winter sem now present is winter semester. Location taken off course language English. So what are the requirements for this master semester? Admission requirements. See, uh, they have mentioned the qualification for the master program in mechatronics and cyber physical systems is proven by the completion of basic course of study at a domestic or foreign university with a minimum of 210 ECTS. So you must and should have 210 ECTS in bachelor. Then only, not only bachelor related, whatever it be, like seven semester or 210 ECTS. They mean, so you should have. Uh, in the fields of industrial engineering, one technical physics, mathematical engineering, electrical engineering, mechatronics are a degree that it is equivalent such as a university degree. So they mentioned uh, like what should have before coming to here, like uh, before taking to this course, you should uh, belongs to the industrial engineering or technical physics, mathematics engineering, electrical engineering, mechatronics. You just know what, like which background you have, you can just talk to it and what they mentioned the examination board decides on the equivalence of the degrees yes obviously whatever it be like you need not to surprise that how mechan like technical physics person got mechatronics maybe there is a relation we don't know so you can apply no problem and the main important is fees and no tuition fee like there is no tuition fee you need not to pay anything if somebody tell like before coming here then like you need not to pay one lakh two lakh like that is uh, if some people tell then don't believe it is not at all uh, like required this just they are like i don't know they are making fools like so don't listen anyone check like this Whatever the university, I'm ch telling about DIT, but every university will just give each and em uh, every information like uh, fingerprints or like you can check everything in internet. So they, they mentioned no tuition fee. So you need not to pay anything. So many ask this question, uh, should we need to pay anything? So you need not to pay anything. Not uh, like only uh, like student service fee will be there it is 62 euros um, in indian rupees it's 5000 rupees so it's not that much amount i guess so every semester you need to pay 62 euros that is for student service not for university 
i guess it is clear for you people so whatever you have if some general inquiries then you can click this email you can send whatever you want to know they will clarify you course flyer so overview overview degree what like master of engineering duration start when it will start admission requirements here also there are fees no tuition fees student service fee application it is this is the this course this course flyer is important like it will give total information i guess see overview in this overview you can get to know whatever main main doubts in your mind like that will clarify and when it comes to application first important application uh, like important thing is in application uh, what is the time period to apply for this university uh, i'll i'll show in another slide because that is more uh, clear um, online application premus portal direct application you need not to uh, apply with uni assist and you need not to pay 12000 13000 for that Uh, notice of a acceptance uh, denial like when they will tell if you if you are applying in winter semester uh, 15th april to 15th july when you will get to know the result uh, is uh, mid august so you will get to know yeah, they will you will be clarified with like you got admission or you like reject or like that enrollment you will find information on this admission notice yeah enrollment also they will tell you like in admission letter itself they, they will write right late placement for open places via waiting list obviously you need not to worry about sometime you may be the lucky person if uh, there are seats like uh, leftover seats so you just wait maybe you will be the luckiest person in the lucky draw i guess they will give seats left over seats uh, late after 15 days like that so preparation course um semester starts if it is winter semester means october 1 semester starts at october 1 contact here is the contact details like phone telephone like mail fax whatever this is the address of university advice and support like these are the contact is details like uh, if you want to telephone if you want to call or if you want to email whatsapp everything is available here how to apply application period we will see this flyer then we will get to know everything see how colorful it is so see this is our calendar jan to december um if it is summer semester jan to april so you need to apply in this every year this will not be change any time like every year december 15th to january 15th is for like uh, summer intake you need to know So 15th January is the last date for applying any course, master course. So be remain, be alert and apply as soon as possible. If somebody is thinking like I need to do with uni assist, so or else if somebody making delay, um, then don't you need not to wait for anyone. You need not to wait for anyone. just go through the website and apply it is direct application um after application process so like it will start march 1st 
then again when it comes to the winter semester you need to apply april 15th to Ju july 15th then i'm sorry yeah now they changed before it was only one month before it was only for one month but now they changed i guess so you can apply for winter semester application period is 15th for i mean april to uh, 15th 7 like it's nice for winter semester just remember that 15th of december to 15th of january so here how to apply some courses have uh, shortened application period so yeah of course there might be you can go with this link you will get to know register in primus portal first you need to register in primus portal that is a dit portal select your course whichever the course you want you just select uh, enter personal details and ac academic uh, qualifications go step by step as they mentioned and upload documents which are documents you need to send first secondary school leaving certificate tc you need to give uh, cv curriculum vitae like you need to give cv uh, language certificates if required yeah like for machine and bow you need to like if you want to enter into the german taught program you need to give c1 and if it is english taught program you need to give b2 nothing but a like intermediate level uh, whatever it be in gre in tofl in ielts anything copy of passport or id card whatever we have passport master application applicants bachelor certificate and grade sheets yeah you need to remember that each and every grade, grade sheet you need to submit like first semester to so uh, eight semesters or sem seven semesters for diploma guys it, it will be seven semesters and for beta guys it should be eight semesters you need to give each and every semester transcripts at least that is mandatory you get to know so th this is uh, like it is quite simple you can understand after like seeing this um, page so just see everything and note it down what to do so then after first doing after these steps all then you need to go for application part after knowing all these things only better to go application part i will not tell you like how to apply because uh, i don't know maybe it is very long video so i cannot tell you now so i'll just show you apply now here you need to apply so how to apply they mentioned here here Ch application checklist procedure checklist you can check what what are the requirements here they mentioned everything prima's portal you need to apply how to apply inter semester summer semester what are the deadlines so whatever i told here there prior to apply, applying course option required documents keep informed and stay organized after applying the uh, like for course um, you need to check it regularly like they they might have sent some information but you didn't know that then that will be like waste of time you need to check regularly uh, if you get admission then next process for international student is like applying visa and like after that apply for accommodation when you after getting like admission you need to do 
apply for visa and then apply for accommodation so yeah that's all i want to tell you and i guess it is little bit clumsy this that this that but i want to make sure you people mm, main things is it is direct you can apply directly and the requirements like eligibility are there like in flyer you can check everything and uh, yeah that's all like for if you want for german dot or english dot according to that you check and there are many courses so must and should you know the deadline is 15th january i hope i make it clear little points which i know so yeah i forgot that for masters in mechatronics and cyber physical system students first time they are conducting test so actually i don't know about any information about like test test paper how it is uh, as i told you they are conducting first time definitely they the question paper will be moderate not so tough not so easy um, the concepts uh, which are in bachelor um, basic concept they will ask and uh, in masters basic concept they will ask so i uh, i guess they might have provided you one um, practice paper if they provided then i can give one tip go through the each and every question and uh, don't read only that question because that is not going to be appear in the exam just i am telling go through the in depth concept regarding that question but back what are the questions may come from that topic so take the question and write, write the concept take the question and write the com concept and uh, study all concepts uh, i guess you might get all of, most of the information about the exam then um, prepare well um, give the exam best so you may be the luckiest person to get in seat everybody will get you need not to worry like sitting home tension no not at all don't worry so do everything uh, correctly first of all then give test best you will get the admission um, finally whatever the questions you have just write down the below if you like this video do subscribe do like leave a comment i'll hope i will uh, give clear reply to you people don't be angry if i give late thank you uh, and happy christmas already christmas is finished so um happy new year to all of you bye bye